Ah, uh, hello, fellow RC enthusiasts, and welcome to my backyard. This is the Tom Cogswell abode, and we're doing some RC from home, hashtag, so you, you can learn more about a new charger that we have coming out, and that is the S1100 Spectrum Smart Charger. What makes the S1100 special is that it has a one port instead of a two port, as the 2100 does. The 2100 and the S1100 are very familiar to each other, very much the same. Whereas the uh, 2100 has a two port, with 200 watt, and the 1100 is a 100 watt single port AC charger. They're both AC chargers. As you can see, they have a plug that comes out of the back of them. This is my personal one that I have been using for quite some time. And the S1100 implores some new features that make it easier to charge than ever. Follow along with me as I show you how to set up and use the Spectrum S1100 smart charger for your smart charging and everyday dumb battery charging needs. Alright, so let's take a look at what you get, firstly, when you get an S1100 charger. Of course, you'll get the charger. This is a great single port, 100 watt AC charger. What AC means is that it comes with a power cord that will plug straight into your extension cable or wall outlet for AC power. So you just plug it into the back here, like that. So let's get her booted up, like that. But it also comes with, and I'm really excited to show you guys this, something that uh, a lot of smart users had been clamoring for because we have the IC5 connector and all of our chargers have the IC3 connector on the front, is it comes with the adapter that you need for charging IC5 batteries, <clears throat> such as this 3200. 100C pack here with an IC5 connector. See how it's awfully much bigger than that. It's a higher current connector, so larger planes and vehicles, something that's gonna be pulling more amperage are gonna need this connector. So before you would have to buy this for every port that you had that you wanna charge one of these types of batteries with, now the S1100 comes with that. Now for you guys that are familiar with the older line of Spectrum Smart Chargers like the S2100, the S1200, the S1500 that all had the screen and the scroll wheel on it, you might see a difference between the two. And that is because this new UI or user interface is, well, it's new. It's uh, completely ground up designed by our engineers here at Spectrum. And you can, uh, we'll go through some of the main differences of it. Um, before that, let's just cover pricing on this guy here. It is $89.99 for everyday price. Chargers. Make sure to check out spectrumsmart.com as well for more info on everything Spectrum Smart related. So this charger, like I was saying, it's a 100 watt charger. That's what the 100 at the end there would mean. And then the S1 means that it is a one port charger. So for anybody that's kind of wondering why we named them this way, that is it. So, the, so like the S2100 here that I have here, this is my own personal one. I've got my Team Spectrum FPB sticker on there, uh, is the S2100. So it's the S2, two port, because it has two ports on it, just like that. And it is a 100 watt charger per port. This charger, I'll take this guy out of the way, can charge up to 10 amps. So if you have a battery that allows up to 10 amps of charge, right? That's a great feature that you guys will want to know about. And it is 1 to 6S compatible. So you'll see that right there that it is a 6S compatible plug. The balance port is right on the front there, as well as the IC3 connector for plugging in your batteries. Now, a lot of people think, oh, if I go to smart, I gotta buy all smart batteries. Incorrect. You can use pretty much any battery out there with your Spectrum Smart Charger. You just get more features and benefits when using it with a smart battery. So let's go over that. So, one of the new cool things with the S1100 is that when you plug in a smart battery, like my 1800 here, it's going to automatically start charging it. It's gonna see that the battery's dead and it's gonna charge it for us. So let's look at that. So what you wanna do is plug in the main connector and then it's gonna say insert balance lead right there. And then once we insert the balance lead, 
After a few moments, it'll start charging the battery automatically. I didn't have to press any buttons at all. Let's take a look at what we see on the screen. So uh, you'll see here at the top, we have kind of a battery meter telling us how many, or telling us how close to being fully charged it is. So we're at 79% on this pack. And then you'll have the capacity that's been put into there. So 27 milliamps so far, and the charge rate that's being used at that time. Another really cool feature that's new with this is that it tells us the estimated charge time remaining. I think that's really cool because then you can know how long you're gonna be sitting around waiting for your battery to be fully charged. So about 10 minutes, it'll start peaking it and balancing the pack. So that usually takes about a minute to finish up. So after 10 minutes, plus another minute or so for it to balance the pack, no big deal. All right, if you scroll through, you'll also get the cell balance of each cell. Pretty good balance on this pack. You'll also get the internal resistance. That's what this one is. So IR for short, internal resistance, really does help us know the health of each cell on this battery. A, at least in my opinion, a good rule of thumb, is anything below 15 is usually pretty good for most aircraft and most vehicles. If you have something that's pulling a lot of amperage, the lower the better, essentially. If you're starting to get up to the 20s or even higher than that, I would consider that that battery is either, well, either a high C or a low C rating. So this is a 50 C pack. Usually the higher C rating packs means lower internal resistance. And this one, I mean, it's, I think we've got maybe six or seven charges on this. That's another thing we can do with smart packs is that we can see how many charges have been on the battery. So let's do that. Go to battery history. There we go, battery cycles. So this pack has had eight cycles on it and its current internal temperature is 93 degrees. Doesn't feel all that hot. All right. And then if we want to see any other data about the battery, we need to stop the charge. And if we press and hold, press and hold here, we can go down to smart battery settings. Ah, so here is where on this charger, you will want to change your auto storage settings. So currently I have this one turned off. I might turn it on here. Let's go ahead and do that. And it starts at 12 hours. And as we swipe through, we can go up to 240. I like to set it for 48 for all my packs. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you can adjust what the automatic charge current is. So when you plug it in and it automatically starts charging, it'll start charging at 5.4 amps. The charge voltage, you can adjust that how you like. Um, it won't let you go above 4.2, safety sake. And then the storage voltage, you can adjust that down to 3.6 if you like. 3.8 is always good. And then if there is a fault log. Let's see if there's any faults on this battery. No faults yet on this pack, but here you would see things like overcharge, over discharge, and over temp events, and then on what cycle that that happened. Pretty helpful. So if you have a battery that's starting to kind of wear out or give you issues, you can look at this fault log and see what exactly may have happened that caused that. Really helpful stuff. Let's compare it to the older style here, okay? So I'm gonna plug in my S2100 and get a pack plugged into it. All right, here's my 2100. So you guys can kind of get a good idea of what the difference is between the two. I might change the brightness level on my backlight. Oh, it's pretty high already. Okay, well, that's the best we're gonna get out of it then on camera here. Well, another difference that you'll see between the two is the scroll wheel. Yes, they look very similar, but this is an updated little swir swiping, swirling center button scroll wheel thingy doodad. So this is updated, it's more sensitive, a little bit better of a tactile feel. Whereas these ones, still great, still works fine, but you'll kind of feel like as I'm skipping through it, you can kind of hear it there. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it uh, 
gets all of your touches, whereas this one feels really good. All right, let's do a little head-to-head -head test here between the old user interface and the new user interface. So the 2100 with our older user interface and the S1100 with the newer interface. And we're gonna see how quickly I can get a battery charging. So saving you some time, the S1100 should make charging a little bit quicker and easier. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with this one. I'm gonna plug in my 1800 pack. I'm gonna plug in the balance lead. I'm gonna hit the one to go to port one, press that and hit start. Not too bad, now it's charging. Simple enough, I didn't have to do any kind of moving around, but if you weren't a uh, very adapted to these types of chargers, you might have fumbled through it and had to check out settings, make sure everything's right before it started to charge. I know how to use this one, so uh, I just got it going. But let's see the main benefit of this charger. At least in my opinion, one of the main benefits of it is, I'm gonna plug in the pack, plug in the balance lead, and after a few moments, no finagling with it, no guessing, it just starts to charge the pack on its own. I think that's really helpful, and it's a good bonus between the two. But one thing that I do wanna note is that you'll be able to get this user interface on your older Spectrum smart chargers. That's really cool. Some of them are gonna need an update cable. Uh, there's an update port on this one somewhere. Yep, there we go. So there's an update port on the side of this charger and there's an update cable for it. So if you feel like you wanna try out the new user interface, you can. that user interface update will be available for every Spectrum Smart Charger that has the, the screen on it uh, here soon. So, another cool thing about this charger is that it has a USB port for updating it, so you don't have to have that fancy little dongle that we have for the other ones. And as you can tell, it has a cooling fan, um, balances, and it's just great. All right, and just for demonstration's sake, I already mentioned that yes, the Spectrum Smart Chargers can charge non-smart batteries, but I'll just demonstrate it and how it works with the S1100. So I've got this non-smart battery. It's a diamond two cell surface pack, hard case that uh, I use for my Tamiya stuff. Oh, it's a little puffed, but it still works. I like to use it for those. All right, we're gonna plug it in. And I'm gonna plug in my balance lead. And we're gonna Press and hold. And for non-smart batteries, you do have to tell it what task you want it to do, or you can change or start this uh, menu before it automatically starts charging your smart pack. So if you plug it in, you wanna change it to storage mode or discharge or something like that, you can. So we'll tap this one. And let's, let's put it in storage. I could use a storage charge on this guy. And then you'll wanna choose the battery type. So you can select between lithium high voltage to LiPo to lithium ion to life. So if we had a nickel metal pack plugged in, it didn't have a balance lead plugged into it, it we would be able to choose nickel metal and PB for lead acid out of this list, list as well. So let's just choose LiPo. Yes, it's two cells and to confirm that. And the current that we're gonna wanna charge at is, what is this, a 4100? So let's charge it at 4.1 amps. And then we'll go to start. And now it's charging the pack. Or discharging it, rather. We're going to a storage discharge. All right. Another helpful thing is, if you guys, I know a lot of people, we get this question about charging XT60 batteries on our smart chargers. Uh, we do sell an adapter from Horizon. This d adapter here, which is the Venom adapter, I'll have a link for that in the description below. You can buy packs of these of five, or they actually come with a lot of Venom batteries. I think it's a really helpful little adapter. There are other adapters too, but I like this one because, and I'll show you. Let's stop here. So shout out to our, our friends at Venom. They make good batteries and good adapters and pretty decent chargers, but I love my smart chargers. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. So you can just plug it in like that. We'll plug in our, our battery, so if we're flying drones and they all use XT60s in, anyways, we'll plug it in like that. 
Oh, and there we go. So this one, it is a high voltage battery, it looks like, so I just charged it there, and it's good to go. All right, so if you guys want to use some XT60 packs, I suggest grabbing an adapter like that. And there you have it. That is the S1100 charger. Hopefully you guys pick some of these up. I really like it and I hope you will too. I think it's got a good price tag on it for anybody looking to jump into the world of Spectrum Smart Technology and they wanna get something a little bit more programmable and let's say the S150 charger that we sell as the lower end side. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot us a line or leave it in the comments below. This is Tom signing off. Have a great day.